Welcome back to House of Aromas. My name is Manuel. So today I was like, okay, what am I going to talk about? And I remember, you know what? There's some fragrances that I have that I haven't talked about. And I hope I'm trying to look back in my videos to make sure none of these that I'm talking about uh, have that I've got here that I haven't spoken about. But uh, if I did, apologize. But again, it just like it was a period where I wasn't doing no videos at all. And so I, I was still purchasing, you know, here and there. I would buy, you know, cheapies here and there and or different ones that I saw that I caught my attention. And so I would purchase. So right now I got three, four fragrances, four fragrances that I believe I haven't spoken to you guys about. Yeah, stick around to see which ones they are. I'm gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you go. Never gonna say goodbye. No. Never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you go. Never gonna say goodbye. No. Never gonna give. Never gonna give. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna give. 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 Thank you for sticking around. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. The first one, the first one I'm gonna talk about is uh, it's a summer fragrance. I've seen it a couple of times. Uh, I almost picked up the the women version of it, but the first one I'm gonna talk about is from the House of Tommy Hilfiger. Uh, how many two? How, <laughs> how, Tommy Hilfiger 2021 summer edition so this one this is the box of it i got it man i think i got like i was probably about a month ago and uh again i was there's there's really dead out there at the rack stores and i was texting uh mass Med last night like you know what man i probably gonna start buying from uh from Sensu obsessions you know they got a lot they got a good catalog to to purchase from and uh, y'all give, give them a shot. Y'all check them out. Central Obsessions. Check them out on Facebook or CentralObsessionsPerfume.com. Check them out. But anyways, and I'm like, man, it's really dead out there. So there's really nothing really, again, that to me, that really caught, catches my attention. But again, I saw this one. So I said, you know what? I'm going to pull the trigger. This one, this one contains... Uh, ginger, cardamom, orange, clary sage, violet leaf, uh, white pepper, ebony, vetiver, and patchouli. So again, this is a 2021 summer edition, I believe. This is the box. The box has the flowers on the outside. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger in the front. Uh, I guess the ingredients in the back, I mean on the bottom part. Flowers all the way around. So I guess trying to give like a, I guess like a Hawaiian look. The bottle itself is the old, uh, it's just the classic Tommy Hilfiger bottles, but this one, the juice is a light blue and uh, the letters on it is blue. <laughs> so let's see. Again, I've smelled this one once or twice, but I haven't really worn it. And just opening it up, you can sense on the, on the ginger already. Yeah, the ginger's right there. Is that ginger? That ginger and that orange really stand out. That black pepper, I mean, that white pepper. For some reason, I, I like that white pepper. I don't know why, maybe it could be just me. Maybe just the way it's, you know, they're saying white pepper, but it's a little bit lighter spice to me on, on the on the white. When every fragrance that I had, that I've purchased that has white pepper, it's spicy, but it's like less. But again, that, that uh, that ginger, that orange, it's right there. Very, very nice. That the earthiness of the patchouli. It's it's in the very, very, very background. It's 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 perfectly blended. It's perf nicely blended. Very, very nice. It looks like it might have a staying power, but you know. If you've bought Tommy Hilfiger's in the past, you know sometimes they, they lack on performance, but like I've always said, the time that it, that's on you, it's nice. It's very, very nice. Again, it's very, very summery. 
again, this is something that I believe be worn during, during like right now. Right now, it's just beautiful. It's, I know we, uh, we got that hurricane coming through. Uh, people down in the south, where my mother-in-law is at. Uh, honestly, what I've heard, they have received just rain, basically. But again, it's not that hot outside. Uh, I got the ACs off. I ain't sweating. <laughs> I ain't sweating yet. So, you know, so I won't hear all that humming noise of the AC window units. But again, this is a nice, a nice spicy, fresh summer scent. Very, very nice. And this is for a miracle that I've kept these boxes. And I was looking for one of the boxes. It's, I guess I threw that one away. But anyways, the next one I'm gonna talk about. The next one is, uh, is a house that I, I've rarely, rarely seen. And it caught my attention because it's new to me. I don't know if you guys ever seen it. It's called Sergio Tacchini. But the first one is two of them that I have from, from that house or designer. Sergio, Sergio Tacchini. The first one I'm gonna talk about is uh, Smash. I thought I had kept the box of it. I guess I just threw it away. Uh, the only reason I kept these so I can do this video but for some reason, I don't know, maybe I already did a video on this one, but again, this one, this contains uh, green apple, lemon, yuzu, cardamom, white cedar extract, orange blossom, tonka bean, crystal amber, and musk. Again, the bottle's a beautiful bottle. The the initials on sticks on the out, you know, sticking from the bottle itself. The cap is just the plastic cap. It has the their thing on top, very, very nice. Just a simple plastic cap. And uh, I can't remember, I think this is the one Massman asked me about, or maybe it was the other one. But let me spray it real quick so before I let you guys know. Good atomizer. This is, this is a nice, that green apple, it's it's very, very beautiful blended. That lemon, you can pick up on that lemon. It's a very summery, uh, summery, hold on, give me one second. It's a very summery fragrance. It starts off a little, you know, it, it's a sweet fragrance. So you know this is up my alley. It it sort of goes to, uh, I know it's one of them, I don't think it was this one. Maybe it was. Again, it starts out with the citrus, but it goes to sweet, to a sweet fragrance. It's sort of in the line of, uh, I guess like, uh, uh, Pac Rabanne 1 million. It's sort of in that in that type of, of a scent profile. It leans to that. Uh, I remember, I think it was this one Mass Man had asked me about to see if I've seen it. And I was telling him, maybe I was confusing with the other one, but this one goes to, to that type of a scent profile of a uh, Paco Rabanne 1 million. But again, it starts out with the citrus nose and then it goes down just a little bit to a sweetness. That little song on my face. It goes down to a sweetness, but a very, very nice fragrance. This would be good for evening wear. I haven't tried it, so I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and say, oh, you know what, it lasts three or four hours or less than 10 hours, 20 hours. I haven't really tried it, but just off, it looked like it has some good staying power, but but again, I, I'm gonna hold off on this one. We'll let it get cool a little bit more outside. Slap it on. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna have to give us a future uh, update on this one. Again, because it's a beautiful, it's, it's a nice, nice scent, but again, me personally, in my opinion, I love sweetness. I love the sweet scents. I love the gourmand scent. So, and I ain't saying this has a gourmand scent, but it's in the lines again that Paco Rabanne one million type of profile scent profile. Excuse me. The next one, I'm gonna stay with the same house. Sergio Tachin. Maybe I can see it and pronounce it better. Club. This one. This one contains citrus, yuzu, yuzu, bergamot, water notes, lavender, pineapple, musk, oak moss, and driftwood. That other one, that smash, it's a, it, you can still smell it. Here we go. 
Both of these got good atomizers. Oh yeah. This is just straight, straight, straight summer. Very, very nice, very citrusy. You can you can pick up on that alcohol still, but that citrus notes that sticks out there. There we go. Man. It has a pineapple, but like artificial, I mean like a, how you can say it, a generic pineapple scent, but it gives it, it blends it all beautifully. It's very, very nice. Again, this is a nice, have it all backwards. This is a nice summery scent. Very, very nice. Again, I think these two, I bought these for like 12 bucks, no, 14 bucks. I think it was $14.99 each. So that's why I pulled the trigger on them. But this is a very, very nice citrusy scent. Very, very nice. Last but not least. So this next one, I've heard, when I purchased it, I, I tried to look some, some research on it, but I really couldn't find much. And then I guess it finally got a little, little buzz, you know what I'm saying, in, in the fragrance community. And uh, some people saying it was good, some people saying it was bad, but I like the house. From the house of Azaro, Azaro Sport. This is the box. On the other one, I didn't show y'all the box. It just has the his brand, his side is all that. You know, just regular, simple box. Look like a, uh, like, probably like a sports car, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a clothing line. I really didn't look. No, I ain't really uh, did my research on the house itself, so I'm not gonna sit here and lie. But anyways, the, the Azaro. A Zara Sport. This one contains a couple of ingredients. Threw me off. Lavender, cl clary sage, sandalwood, and tonka bean. But again, I, you know, I, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and this and that. These are purchased and I have not worn these, to be honest with you guys. I guess it's sort of like a first impression, but I had smelled them before, so. Okay. Hmm. This is. Okay, there it is. Okay. At first, it, it hit me with a lot, like alcohol and, and, and spiciness. But there it is. A nice, I guess, another another uh, uh, summer fragrance. This one, I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. I think I've seen once or twice already at uh, Ross. Very, very nice to see. At first, it, it's, you know what, guys? I know I don't have it, but it sort of smells, again, just, just to me, to my nose, as if it would have had like a watermelon scent. Uh, I don't know if y'all have ever just, you know, got a tray of, of watermelon and just smelled it. Again, it's maybe just me, but again, it's a very summery, very light, this would be going, this would go very, very good to, to go out and that's like a done reach. But again, you can, this would be good for an office, office, uh, office, uh, environment. Very nice. I can't pick up on no sweetness on that Tonka bean, but again, just a beautiful scent. It's very, very nice. It says it has no citrus in it, but it has to have it. I pick up again on some citrus notes. Sort of like a watery watermelon uh, notes or scent. Very, very nice. <clears throat> Again, stay in power. I can't tell you. You know, I, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. But again, just want to take, uh, bring y'all's attention on some fragrances that I have not talked about on my channel that I have purchased. And I think I have a couple of more that I have purchased that I don't think I haven't talked about it yet. Uh, I'm gonna double check, but make sure. But again, very, very nice. I, I, I'm very pleased with my picks. I'm excited to try this one out. The Smash one. Man, you know what? Again, this one's, this is very nice. I like these. Again, uh, have y'all tried any of these? Any any of them that, that, you know what, that some people have never really heard of? Like, honestly? I've never heard of the, this, you know, this house right here, or any fragrance of, from, from here. This is the first time I've ever seen these. So let me know, leave a comment down below. Uh, anything that, that you've purchased at your rack stores that you're like, you know what? 
think anybody's talking about this one. Let me know, leave me a comment down below. Have you guys tried any of these? Especially, you know, the Tommy Hilfiger. I love Tommy. I, you know, again, <laughs> I got that old school one. Now, of course it's changed. I remember, I remember it used to last quite a bit and I used to wear this a lot, Tom, the old Tommy Hilfiger. I used to all Tommy down, you know, and uh, it used to last, you know, quite a bit on me. But again, if y'all got your nose on any of these, again, leave me a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, y'all keep smelling great. Y'all be safe out there, and y'all stay blessed, all right? See you guys in the next video.